So this is my original setup with the Beta Barium Borate Crystal. You can see it there illuminating quite brightly in um, the combined uh, pump of the 405 nanometers and a little bit being detected in the near infrared and it's being coupled then into a fiber so this fiber actually leads all the way over here and it's quite dark so you can't really see it but it leads to this beam splitter here this fiber fiber beam splitter basically calcite crystal that uh, basically splits the light into uh, two different polarizations complementary polarizations and one of the polarization states goes through uh, three polarization paddle controllers here on the left and these are moved uh, to different positions in the polarization sphere the Poincaré sphere and on the other side here the red fiber actually goes to another set of polarization controllers so they're kind of complementary but they're sweeped uh, in different cycles all across this Poincaré sphere measured actually uh, again in real time at the same time using these two polarimeters and then this is all displayed on the screen so the blue is Bob's polarization state and the pink is Alice's polarization state and you can see they sweep uh, in different um, complementary configurations uh, but they're neither defined on the uh, left hand of the sphere or the right hand of the sphere they're sort of in superposition but every time uh, that we have a left orientation Alice should be a right every time Alice is a left uh, Bob should be a right and uh, in different uh, in special configurations of the polarization ellipse uh, they reach sort of like regions of stability where you can actually see uh, the complementary states becoming uh, fairly well defined as being um, being different and these represent a measurement basis that we can use to um, actually characterize uh, the quantum light uh, source so this is all being made using a spontaneous parametric down conversion of 405 nanometer light here from a laser 405 nanometers down converted into 810 oops, you can see there 810 nanometers so these polarimeters are sensitive to that wavelength so what I'm trying to see here is polarization entanglement to measure the degree of entanglement that exists between these two states.